about this? A campaign underway right now to spruce up a Pittsburgh neighborhood. The Kickstarter project hopes to raise $10,000 by Tuesday. Wow. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 anchor Michelle Wright introduces us to the man behind Randy Land. We talk a lot about revitalization in Pittsburgh. Well, I'm in the historic Northside neighborhood of the former Allegheny City, and this is a revitalization project like you may have never seen before, and one guy is responsible for all of it. Well, welcome to Randyland. So this is it. Yeah. Show me around. Welcome to my humble, humble, simple wow. home. Ha ha ha. Called the most painted house in the East, it all started almost 20 years ago when Randy Gilson bought what he calls his yellow castle, now called Randy Land. Everybody loves Randy Land. It's a comic book. It's a coloring book. These are the smiles that come to me. At the time, the area was blighted, and so Randy spruced it up all by himself. He planted hundreds of flower and vegetable gardens all throughout vacant lots. Feel free to take the toys out. And he offered his courtyard for free to anyone who wanted to use it. When I saw this, I said, I got to come in and scope it out. Because <laughs> it's, it's, it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. And people come from all over the world now to check it out. We're from Detroit. Are you from Detroit? Yes. We're not just an old community forgotten anymore, but we're reinventing continuously over and over. Randy is actually a waiter by day, and over the years he's used his tips to buy paint and gather interesting things. That little parrot that's up there, that little guy was in the garbage, and I found him on top of a garbage can. Um, this here was in the garbage. Pretty cool, right? But now Randy is turning to Kickstarter to get money to help him repair things here, specifically this giant outdoor map he made. This is Pittsburgh here, and then you cross this 9th Street Bridge, the 7th Street Bridge, and the 6th Street Bridge. Why do you go to the trouble to map all this out? I didn't want people just to see these five, ten blocks. I wanted them to know that Pittsburgh extends to our community. He hopes to raise $10,000 to finish the map, complete with metal street signs to mark the area for visitors. When people come in here, what reaction do you get when they see all of this? They look like this. They go like, <laughs> what is this place? Ah, oh, what is this place? And I say, it's my home. And they say, just a home? And I say, yeah. They say, it's not a business? No. Um, why did you do this? And I say, why not? Up on Randy Land's roof, you get a view of downtown. And pilots have told Randy his yard is a landmark. When they're coming over Pittsburgh, to the left is Heinz Field, and to right is the famous Randy Land Museum. <laughs> That's cool, right? Meanwhile, ground level, people just keep coming. Oh, this is the Heinz factory. This is the Pittsburgh Zoo. I want people in Pittsburgh, when they come over here, that they don't have to fear Pittsburgh. They don't have to fear Northside. They can come here. They can find the history, the streets, the people, the love of the Northside. I love the Northside. I'm never leaving. Never. Michelle Wright, Pittsburgh's Action News 4. You know, don't so many of us who live here in this mm -hmm. wonderful city feel the Randy Land feeling without right. doing all of that? Good for him for doing it. Beautiful, beautiful. I love it.